Hi and welcome to this tutorial, the uh, UFMC. For this tutorial, I'll be using the X-77 um, as, as the aircraft, but of course the UFMC works with any aircraft with which you have a configuration file. In this tutorial, I'll be highlighting the main things uh, within the pre-flight procedure, which is one of the most important things you'll be doing with any flight management computer. So let's get started. The UFMC will automatically replace the default FMC texture. And so if I click on the screen, it will open the UFMC. And uh, this UFMC is with the X77 textures. If you click up here and hold, you can drag the window around. Now just a, a quick information. As you might see, I I can if I click P, it will put P right down here instead of pause the simulator. It's important to know this so you don't get frustrated. Basically what you do is you click here, the keyboard will vanish, and then you can do all the explain commands. If you start typing and you see keyboard here, that means you can't do any of the XP commands like pause or increase the throttles or put down the flaps. This is just uh, very important so you don't get very frustrated. Now, the first one you will see will be this. Which, it says menu, FMC, and ACARS. You want to click on FMC to load FMC. The first page you'll see is the ident page. This will give you the latest information on what aircraft you have and all the nav data. Just check to see if everything is the way it's supposed to be. And I'm looking, yeah, look, looks all right. So let's just continue to position in it. One of the most important things for the flight management computer so it can calculate your route is that it knows where you are. Because if you tell it to go somewhere, it needs to know where you are so it can calculate the route. And as you see, it will automatically calculate my current GPS position and the time at the moment. So I just verify this is correct. The GPS position can be verified with uh, the parking gates chart. Most um, airports have charts in which they say the exact latitude and longitude position of each gate. And so I just verify this. If it's correct, I'm going to go to route. This is where I enter my basic route information. So today I'm going to fly from Corfu, an island in Greece. So I type the ICAO code in the scratch pad with the keys. It will show up here and if I click on the left here, left of these four boxes, it shows up as the origin. I will be flying to Amsterdam, Eham. So again, I click there, it appears destination. Flight number, I can enter anything, I'll just do KLM123. The only reason you want to enter your flight number is just so that on top of the progress page and a couple other pages, it'll just say your um, flight number, just so if you're doing ATC call, you can quickly look at the FMC and see what your flight number is. The departure runway, it will be 17. Good wind conditions. And company route, this is how you load route. This is some more advanced things. If in the UFMC, um, if in the plugin folder, you have some uh, a file, for example, called lgkreham.ufmc, then you can type in lgkreham, put that here, and it will load the file if this file is present. So basically, you put the file name, and it can load route if you already have done it. I didn't do this. So, and um, for the sake of the, this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make your complete own route. So, I'm hitting on activate. It will, it will ask me if I want to activate this and hit execute.